Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, I got a really interesting workflow today. It's basically taking CAD models and building uh, PBR shaded uh, low resolution, low poly models for using use in VR and gaming. So, how do you take a CAD model and create a PBR shaded model out of it? <coughs> so, uh, this is a I think it's an exciting workflow. Uh, it uses the programs, any program you want for CAD. I'm going to use Moe. It's got a great, uh, uh, it's a great exporter, especially exporting from NURBS to polygons, one of the best. Uh, and then I'm going to be using 3D Coat to voxelize the models, and uh, then I'm going to be using, and then baking uh, the the high resolution voxelization uh, model onto a low res version of it. And then I'm going to go uh, into Marmoset uh, to view the different models. I'm going to, I'm going to view both the 3D coat uh, low res model and then the voxelized uh, model as well. So without, without further ado, let's get started. Uh, you can see that uh, here we have this little kind of funky widget. I created these like angles on it that I know that they're going to create smoothing problems for polygon modelers. Uh, especially since there's no stitching going on in between here. So that's a challenge. Um, so what I want to do is select this and I'm going to export it. I'm going to export a high res model. Um, export it as an OBJ. And I'm going, to I'm going to really crank these settings up on this. So I'm going to make this about four so I can get a very nice round surface. I'm going to make, make it, let's make it two. There you go. Got a lot on there. And then let's, on the planes, or let's do all here, larger, smaller than 0.5. So this is, you can tell, there's 64,000 polygons in this model. So you can, and it's very, very uh, high res in that respect. So I'm going to say, okay. So now I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to export a low res object. And this time I'll go to like 15 on this, zero here. So now we're looking at about 2320 polygons, uh, substantially less. Uh, and that's going to be our, our model that we're going to use uh, to bake our normal map onto. So let's hit the OK. And now that we're done with that, let's uh, jump into 3D code. So, okay, so first thing I want to do is I want to import that low res resolution model. Um, let's see. There it is, a low, low resolution one. I'm going to use 3D codes, <laughs> excuse me, their auto mapping, auto UV mapping feature. This is a great feature. Uh, Actually, it's worth kind of buying the program program alone for. 2,048 textures. It's not super high, but but that's good. So it auto basically auto auto bakes UV maps onto here. So if I go to my texture editor. You'll see here's the UV maps. Let's go to that's the uh, there's the wireframe. There's all the UV maps for this particular model. So look how nice of a job that did. Did it automatically. I could go back in and edit these if I want to, but I'm not going to because it, it, it works pretty good right out of the bat. I'm going to export this object. Um, let's see if I can go into here and uh, export. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I'm going to export uh, this object and textures. It doesn't really matter what I use here. I'm going to use create a new folder. I'm going to call this uh, uh, export low. So that's and export low okay and then I'm going to choose a setting I'm going to just use a PBR specular or metal this doesn't matter either anything I don't really I just want to save the uh, OBJ and the models and it'll basically do that for me actually it's building the models but not want to worry about those I won't be using these or building the maps I won't be using those so now that I got that done let's uh, create a new file and I want to go into voxel sculpting and I'm going to start with a blank screen and I'm going to go in and say file import and I want to uh, import mesh for voxelization. That's what I want right here. So I hit that button and I'm going to go back up to here to the high res object now. 
and there it is. I'm going to zoom in on this. I can see it a little better. Okay, and I want to check this button right here. It says import without voxelization. So I'll leave that checked. I'm going to turn this V, click on that to make it a surface. Okay, and uh, then I hit the apply button. And I want to keep the same. And I, and I go now into uh, any tool I want. And you'll see this is our model, and you look at it, it's, it's, it's not very good, as you can tell. But if I go to the wireframe mode, this is this imported it exactly as the wireframe. So there's a little secret here. Once you've imported it, you can hit the Enter key, the Enter key right now. And now you can jack up the, the voxelization. So I'm going to go, I don't know, maybe 1,200,000. So that's 30 zeros. Yeah, that looks like it. And... And say OK. And now I voxelize this, and you can see I've got a very perfect facsimile. One of the nice things this does for me, by the way, is uh, turn off wireframe. Is I look at it, I'm getting a little tiny bit of a highlight along these bevels, and that's a really nice thing. It's put basically puts a little tiny bevel along everything, which is kind of uh, makes it was going to make it look look more realistic, right? So now <clears throat> I go from here into the retopo model. And I'm going to import uh, my other object, which is, um, let's see, import the, let's see, the retopo mesh. Uh, this is what I want. So this has got to be, it says it's not a reference mesh. It should be, so this is my retopo mesh. So I'm going to go back into my export, and there it comes in. And I'm going to hit apply, and I want to snap it to the voxel reference which is exactly what I did. So now I've got that done. Here's my UV mapping over here. Okay, now once I've, uh, I've imported this, this file, uh, I need to go into Bake, Bake with Normal Map. Okay, so now what's going to happen is this is going to create, you notice how it expanded the, the, the small polygon map. And what I'm doing is I'm looking around it to make sure it all seems to be able to get... Let's... Uh, Preview the inner shell. Yeah, that's what's that's where we're having the problem. See, it, you can see it poking through. So I need to move this a little farther back. Uh, no, that doesn't work. 0.5. Yeah, not bad. Let's do 0.3. Okay, and let's see it. And outer shell. Outer shell actually looks okay. So we're gonna leave that at, at one and 0.3. Say OK, and I'm going to let this go. Use the default settings. It's going to bake those. OK, now it's done. It's all baked. I go into the paint room, and I turn off. I'm going to turn off my voxels. Now this is the baked. This is the baked normal map. You can see it's already uh, with occlusion. And everything so you can see I, I, this is if you look at the wireframe it's a standard wireframe so I've already got some some interesting detail on this I'm going to go into the uh, oh, smart materials let me go grab a this one right here let's see or what's this I don't know I'll just grab one of these and choose that five and basically say fill that whole layer there we have it See kind of a nice, nice model. Now I'm going to say File, and I'm going to Export Object and Textures, and I'm going to export is going to be. Uh, I need to check this. Use Export Constructor. That's important. And then I'm going to, in this case, I'm going to go to Marmoset to show you how it looks. I'm going to choose the GGX Specular uh, uh, Specular model. And I'll say, oh, and then I need to load this up, and I'm gonna go back here. And say, and this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be baked, a baked object, and I'm gonna save that as baked. There we go. Okay, now that one's done. Now I wanna, I'm gonna save this, and I'm gonna open this uh, low res one that we talked about uh, or I should open oh actually I, I mean I'm sorry I'll do a new 
and paint the UV map. We've already got the map, this thing mapped because it was in our export low. So this is my this is the original low one. There it is. And I want to basically take this and actually let's turn off all of it. Let's turn these off. And I'm going to take this and fill the layer on this. And this is what we have. And then I'm going to export this. And I'm going to use the same Marmoset settings. And I'll set this up into, I'll just call it the low object. Save. Yes. And okay great now I've got that done let's go into uh, marmoset now let's go ahead and import all this stuff into marmoset tool bag um, I'm using a, 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 a timed out trial version uh, but this is just a program that allows us to look at the PBR rendering. So I want to go into the baked object, download it. You can see right now it doesn't have its 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 uh, normals are all screwed up. The surface uh, normals are. So I just go to my object and I want to make sure I set this to 3D Studio Max, and then click on uh, the actual. Let's double click on the, the the surface and let's go get the normal map from the baked file. So I'm gonna go baked normal. There it is. And the gloss map, baked gloss, and the albedo map, which is going to be diffuse. And there we have it, the specular map, baked specular. Okay, it's, it's a little bit, let's go into our sky. I'm going to turn the brightness up just a little bit so you can see it. So there's our object, uh, and it's looks pretty good. So let's hide this object. Let's import the other one, which is just, the other one's the non-baked version, right? It's just purely uh, the low the, the low uh, resolution model. Here it comes in. i got to basically do the same of the same things. Make the tangent space 3D Studio Max. Uh, I'm going to actually go in here and create a new uh, material because so it doesn't use the same material. Drag it onto here. And this new material now is going to have this, as I say, the tangent space is 3D Studio Max. So we're going to add a normal map to that. Export low normal. There it is. And the gloss map. Export low gloss. And the albedo map. Export low diffuse. There we are. Reflectivity, expert low specular. There we go. And now we've got uh, basically this one. So let's let's take and move this model out a little bit, like so. Let's go get the other model, turn the other one on, and let's take it and let's move it out a little bit too, so we can look at them kind of side by side. So you can see that the baked one has a little more realistic look to it than the non-baked one does, if you can tell. Let's see, just unhighlight these. So as you roll around, the non-baked one has got this really kind of, you see the crude, the artifacting around the corners and the very crude corners. Our baked one has got very, you know, very smooth, uh, a very smooth um, edge treatment over here. If we look, so you can see that edge is very smooth compared to that edge right so this is going to look a little more computery this looks a little bit more like it's photoreal so that's really kind of the whole workflow um hope that uh you enjoyed i'm going to do another one can uh you show the workflow directly into unity um but uh for now you know this this is good uh thanks for watching and we'll have some more stuff to talk about later bye